Cambridge Volunteer on BBC Radio Cambridge this Friday afternoon, 8 minutes to 4 o'clock. And as I'm sure you know, here on BBC Radio Cambridge, we've been spending the last few weeks making sure we're all taking care of our mental health. Whether you're already living with a mental health issue or if the current climate is affecting your well-being for the first time, we definitely can all struggle at times. And this week, we're having a chat about the positive impact that volunteering can have on our mental health. Here to talk with us more are two people very au fait with giving up their time for others. As Stuart Howe is from the Yaxley and Farset Coronavirus Support Network. And Susie Willis is the Chief Executive Officer of the Care Network. Good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. Now, I'm so glad we're doing this. I remember reading a wellness book quite recently, and there was a whole chapter dedicated to the power of volunteering in this book. And some organisations actually give employees days to go and volunteer. It's not a holiday. It's a day where you have to go and volunteer a couple of times a month. So it sounds like actually there's something in this lark of uh, doing things for others. What would you say to that, Stuart? Well, that's the, that's the old corporate social responsibility that, um, that the companies adopt in order to, to, to give back. And we actually, we actually tap into that quite a lot. Uh, we, we, we talk to people like companies like BGL, for example, who've offered us um, support in terms of people um, uh, on their CSR to actually help man our phone lines in the future. So, yes, it's, it's, um, it's very important. And Susie, I'm wondering how much life has changed for you recently um, with the issues around how much vulnerable people need extra care at this point. Are you kind of relying on your volunteers more than ever? Yeah, our volunteers have been absolutely wonderful in providing a check and chat support to help people with their well-being that is dramatically being affected at the moment through the isolation where many people are reporting that because of lockdown. They're feeling locked in and that's really impacting them. Uh, Stuart, I'm wondering, you know, you're running the coronavirus support, or you're from the coronavirus support network. Obviously, this is a, a new organisation, I would have assumed, over the past few weeks. How have you seen the impact of the lockdown affect the people that you're working with? Well, um, I've, I've got 10 years of uh, experience in the voluntary um, area, um, but, but certainly we, we're seeing a, a sort of evolution um, of demand. There was a lot of uncertainty at the, at the beginning. Um, and it was, it was initially, it was um, people wanted contact, etc. Then there came the demand for things like groceries and, and people wanted their prescriptions um, picking up, etc. Um, but now it's, it's moving on to different areas, like people have, can't afford to have phone data. So what we're seeing now is we're seeing people are really being squeezed financially. Um, talk me through the actual benefits of volunteering. Obviously for the outside world, there are so many benefits. I mean... If you listen to our Make a Difference bulletins on BBC Radio Cambridge alone, you can hear just how many amazing things are being done by people wanting to give up their time for other people. But also, there is something beneficial to volunteering, isn't there? I don't know if it's because it's boosting endorphins or giving us a sense of purpose. Why is it so good for us to do things for other people? Um, if I can come to you first, Susie. Um, I think the thing is, is that it's about... Um giving a gift, you're giving a gift of something that money can't buy, which is your time, and that you want to spend that time doing something for the benefit of, of someone else, um, there's, there's no other motive to it, and that is um, a really empowering thing for someone to be able to do, um, and, you know, volunteering in itself, you're also um, helping to look after your own well-being through those connections that you're having your volunteering role so you know from every which way um it's just a, a, a wonderful experience and Stuart I'm wondering as well the people that you've been working with as volunteers yeah. has because we have we are living in such strange times and scary times has the fact that they've had a focus of doing good during this period helped them move away from maybe their own anxieties during the covid lockdown absolutely yeah it, it does provide routine and structure um, and as we've already alluded to, you know, it, um, volunteering does make people feel good about themselves. I think what Susie said was really important. You know, it, it's my fundamental belief that, that everyone in society potentially has a gift they can give back, and we're now seeing that. And I, I broadly categorise that into, into three different areas, gifts of the hands, the mind and heart. So hands will be practical skills that people can give back to their community. The gifts of the mind could be knowledge they can share, 
and the heart could be could be a passion so it can make great right, creativity for example which you talked to I may mean, talk to somebody earlier about um, you know, the, the creative side of things and how that can help society so I think um, what's happening at the moment is really valuable networks are being developed and created by people and the smart things to do now is to take advantage of this and come out of it, this crisis stronger at the, the other end I'm wondering as well I'm li- I, this has just popped into my head I'm wondering if there's something uniting as well about a shared enemy a shared crisis in a good way for once in that we are finding things that we can do to help we're all determined to do something so for example there was a lady who was on my show a few weeks ago and she was like i'm locked down i can't do much but she was ringing around people reading poetry to them and it was the simplest most beautiful thing so actually people can be so creative with their time right now can't they you think that you know you don't have to be going out driving you can use your own skill set to help others in a really creative way. Would you say, would you, would that ring true for you, Susie? Definitely, and I think um, it's so true what you just said there. You know, we all share this um, common threat in our lives, it's all impacting us, and there is an understanding um, of generally how this is impacting on all of us. Um, between people, all right, circumstances might be different, but, you know, it really is a a way for um, that sense of humanity and reaching out that volunteers involved with that further kind of is combined and and made stronger because of COVID-19. And if there is someone listening to this right now who's thinking, actually, you know what, I do, I need to volunteer, I think it's something that I really want to do, is there a sort of... uh, do they have to go to somewhere where they think they could volunteer and, and seek them out? Or is there sort of a general sort of database of the, where people who want to volunteer can be, can be spread and have their information passed around? How, how can we best vo- um, offer our services, uh, Stuart? I think a good place to probably go is, is, is um, your local council voluntary service. Services. So if, if Peterborough's got PCVS, Peterborough Council for Voluntary Services, and the Cambridge one, etc., in Huntington, there's one called Hunt's Forum. And maybe just, um, just look on Google uh, and type in volunteering opportunities. But to be honest, there's so many charities and third sector organisations out there doing good that they're all looking for volunteers. And, and th- these people get good, good volunteers like Goldust. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really wish we could talk about this uh, for longer, but we're coming up to the news. Stuart Howe is from Yaxley and Farset Coronavirus Support Network. Thank you so much for your time, Stuart. And Susie Willis, the Chief Executive Officer of The Care Network. Uh, thank you to you to Fascinating chat. If you feel that you can uh, spend some time and energy volunteering right now, it's definitely something that I think we could all benefit from. Cambridgeshire, on FM, on DAB, on BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio Cambridgeshire.